Hello, and welcome to another ARK Survival Evolve Taming video. I am Winslow, and today we're going after one of the largest dinosaurs on the island, the Brontosaurus. The Bronto can commonly be seen slowly walking around the island. It is seen in most of the forests and plains areas. It is extremely easy to recognize and spot from the air or ground. The Brontosaurus was one of the largest sauropods to exist. It lived in the late Jurassic time period roughly 156 to 146 million years ago. It is estimated to have weighed up to 15 tons and measured 72 feet long. The Brontosaurus is one of the most recognizable dinosaurs in pop culture. It is believed that due to their size, the Brontosaurus would have been mostly unable to support their own weight on dry land for an extended period of time. Some scientists theorize that they spent their lives partially submerged in shallow marshes and swamps, which helped support their massive weight. Their long necks would have still allowed them ample grazing territory and their whip-like tails could have been used in defense. On Ark, the Brontosaurus is able to move on dry land, though it's very slow. They are usually seen in pairs, so when taming, make sure to deal with any other Brontos. Their tails can hit for a high amount of damage and it has a substantial knockback. It is a fairly straightforward knockout tame, but I like to grapple to a bird and hit them from above. This eliminates any risk of being knocked back or killed by their tail. The Bronto has high torpor. It will take many shots to down one. Once it's out though, just protect it and give it exceptional kibble. It may seem odd to have to protect such a behemoth, but small creatures such as Dilos or Compies will take advantage of a sleeping Bronto, and their bites, while unlikely to actually kill the Bronto, will reduce the taming effectiveness. Just put up some spiked walls and wait. This Bronto took 12 exceptional kibble and about 15 minutes total to tame up, on 4 times taming. It eats relatively quickly because its food drains fast when it's unconscious. Then, once it's up, just take it home and equip it with one of the two different saddles. The Bronto has a standard saddle, which is used for a single rider. It has no real special benefits than any other saddle other than offering a slight armor boost. They are able to harvest berries at an extremely high numbers. Depending on their melee stat and the harvest rate, a Bronto may be able to crash a game server by harvesting. Their real strength is in the platform saddle. The saddle is enormous, and you can build a 5x3 structure on it with ease. The S Plus mod has a plate that you can use on the back which gives it a snap grid. Otherwise you can just try to place blocks evenly. You can mount the platform and then dismount, it will place you in the center of the platform and you can place a foundation. Build around it, you'll be set. Walls and structures built do not really add to the overall weight of the Bronto, but you shouldn't overdo it. I like to put crafting stations in some basic storage, but keep it light overall. If I'm using a Bronto for a mobile crafting base, I level up weight almost exclusively. If I'm making a Bronto for battle, such as for the element veins on extinction, I level up health and stamina. With a lightweight base, you can even add a tech generator and shield to the saddle. At maximum range, the entire Bronto will be encased in the shield. You can strafe in and out of the shield, killing enemies, and then retreat to safety. If your server allows turrets on saddles, you can use large hatch frames to build out in line with turrets. With the shield on, turrets can still be outside of the shield, allowing you to blast away at enemy fortifications or fight off waves of corrupted dinosaurs on extinction. It is also smart to bring along a few carnivores for backup, since the Bronto itself won't have much in the way of defense. Some Carnos, Allosaurs, or Rexes will be able to easily take out most enemies you'll face, with added fire support from your battle Bronto. So here, I'm just building a simple stone house on the saddle, and we'll be putting some cannons on top. I don't plan on really using it for anything, because my server doesn't have PvP. The large health pool of the Brontosaurus and ability to build on the platform saddle can make it one of the more fearsome siege dinosaurs. 
It doesn't have a time limit like the Titanosaurus, and you can breed in and print them. If you were to imprint and cap out stats like health, you could easily have the Brontosaurus with well over 100,000 health. Add to that a shield, or defenses, or carnivore support, and a Bronto will most likely be able to succeed against any enemy. They are unfortunately too large to take into a boss arena. However, on Extinction, since the Titans are battled in the world instead of an instance, you can use Battle Brontos. I look forward to using them for the Titans along with a few dozen Gigas. Overall, they are rarely used in PvP these days because most PvP meta is just turrets. You'll get more from a herd of Stegosaurus than a Bronto, but I like to use Brontos for element banes on Extinction. Thanks for watching this ARK Survival Evolved Taming video. I am Winslow, and if you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. I greatly appreciate your time and support, and we'll catch up next time.